In this video, we'll bounce the equation for Al plus HBr, aluminum plus hydrobromic acid. Let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. One aluminum, one hydrogen, and one bromine atom for the reactants. For the products, we have one aluminum, two hydrogen atoms, and then the three bromine atoms. Let's start with the bromine. I like to leave hydrogens to last. Let's put a three in front of the HBr. So we have one times three, That'll give us three bromine atoms. And then one hydrogen times the three. That'll give us three hydrogen atoms. So we have a bit of a problem here. We have this three hydrogens and then only two here. Probably the best thing to do at that point is to double the coefficient here. And that'll give us an even number, which we can then balance. So let's do that. Instead of three, we'll put six. And then we need to update these numbers here. So we have one times six, six hydrogens, 1 times 6, 6 bromine atoms. I think we can do that, though. If we put a 2 as our coefficient, 3 times 2, that gives us 6, and then aluminum, 1 times 2. That'll give us 2 aluminums. For the hydrogens, we just need to put a 3, 2 times 3. That equals 6. And then to fix our aluminums, aluminum is all by itself here. We just put a 2, 1 times 2. That balances the aluminum atoms, and we're done. So I think the key here, when you get to that odd number like we had with the hydrogens, double that coefficient. See if you can get it to be an even number. And when you do that, things often work out pretty well. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al plus HBr. Thanks for watching.